Good morning, Armor Insiders. Welcome to the morning meeting. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> the highlighted group this morning is going to be the cybersecurity stocks. We'll get to that in a minute. Major change to the risk monitor. We're going to talk about that first. How we traded Fed Day in the Armor Carry portfolio. We'll, um, we'll talk about at the end of this and wrap up. So let's talk about the highlighted sector or group that's in focus on our trading desk this morning. We'll be looking to get day trading entry points on these ETFs. And if they finish strong, we'll carry them as swing trades, possibly investments, depending on how we want to trade them. That group that's in focus today are the cybersecurity stocks. You're looking at two ETFs, cyber and bug. You could see I hope you could see the similarities here and how perfect the chart setup is. Rip higher, pull back to test. The green line is the 200-day moving average. The black line is the 50. Double bottom at the 200, break out yesterday above the 50. If these ETFs can close in the green boxes, which is breaking the downtrend, we will carry a position in our portfolio and then we'll determine what our stop structure is. When I say swing or invest, it's what's the stop structure. A swing trading stop structure is more aggressive. An investing stop structure is more lenient. Swing trading is end of day type of exits. Invest is end of week type of exits. So you allow for more volatility. All right. So cybersecurity, I can hear the rumbling now. Questions are going to be asked. How about this stock? How about that stock? There's a lot of cybersecurity stock. And there's a lot of great stories in the cybersecurity space. Okay. Clearly the leader is CrowdStrike, up big and blowing out of another base on another blowout earnings number. Another form of a leader is Palo Alto, right? They changed their business model. That created the collapse here, but it's building towards the next breakout, right? And we talked about it right in here. These green boxes is where you can get long Palo Alto and it's starting to move, okay? But for my money, for my money, cybersecurity the, the very the very idea of cybersecurity is that there are hacks constantly occurring and these companies are the front line trying to defend them. And every now and then you'll read a story in the he um, headline story, <clears throat> so-and-so's product, some company they represent has been hacked. The stock of that cybersecurity company gets whacked and the whole cybersecurity group goes up. It highlights the need for cybersecurity, but it kills the company whose security got hacked. I just don't want that risk. I don't need that risk in my portfolio. I'd rather own the ETFs, take a bigger position in the ETFs than in any individual stock. Take a bigger position. So I have a lot of exposure, but I don't have any individual stock risk. And inevitably, when there's the next hack that somehow steals data and it turns out this is the company whose software got hacked, that stock will be down and the ETF will go up that day. That's generally what happens. It's kind of like biotech stock. There's so many biotech names. I don't want the risk of waking up, phase three trial, disappointment, stock down 50%. I don't need that risk. I could go buy double or triple the entire biotech group, which we own right now. Sure, sure, there could be a stock here or there that dramatically outperforms the ETF. It's a reward to risk question. If you're willing to take the risk on one cybersecurity stock, then you can find perhaps bigger movement in your portfolio. But for me, I don't want that risk. I'd rather just have a bigger position size in the whole group. Net, net, we may make the same amount of money. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I have more money to work because I don't have any risk of individual blow up. That's why I focus on the ETFs in this space. So um, bug and cyber. If you go look at the top 10 names in both of these ETFs, there's another ETF out there, Hack, for instance. I have no interest in Hack. Go look at the top 10 names in each of these and you'll see why I have no interest in Hack. I look forward to working with you all again today. I can't wait to carry trade. We're having so much fun. The rest of the portfolio is levitating um, up again this morning after it really, I think it's like the biggest day of the year for us yesterday. It was just huge. And the key now is to see where are we by the end of the week. So this whole conversation has been bullish because that's where we read and react to price action. That's what's happening. Caveat, market implodes between now and Friday's close. A lot more cash. Risk monitor could be red. Who knows? Probably not. The leaders are leading too much. It won't go red. But I'll have more cash in the portfolio if that happens. So read and react. Follow me on the desk. Follow me on Twitter if you're not. I update there sometimes. Follow me in the Slack room. Ask questions. You can, if you're an Armor Report subscriber, throw it into the comment section of this video. I'm happy to answer. Armor Insiders will talk in the Slack room. We'll be on the live feed starting at 930. 
And if you'd like, and, and, and you have trouble kind of executing what I'm sharing with you every day, then I could certainly execute for you. Give me a call and we could see if that relationship makes sense. Numbers, um, you can find my number. You can DM me, whatever you want. And we can have that conversation. All right, everybody, thanks so much for spending your morning with me. And at the end of the day, remember, take all this information, figure out your strategy and be the smart money. 